everybody, welcome to Boston, a city with almost 400 years of history. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski for EA Sports. Moments away from puck drop, my broadcast partner is between the two benches. You get to hear all the good stuff. Any final thoughts? Well, they're both kind of talking the same language here. Be disciplined, stay to the system, don't take any chances. But somebody's going to break this game open. It'll be the team that has the most discipline that will win. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Slides the puck across to Marchand. Boom! What a hit! Quick feed to Latang. The Penguins looking against the half wall. What a steal in his own end. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's a short pass to Latang. Can't maintain possession. Right to the middle, and that's blocked. Quick pass to Marchand. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Picked up along the wall by Latang. The Penguins are on the attack. The Bruins have it against the wall. Quick pass across to Dumoulin. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Bergeron. Here's a chance right in the slot, and that's picked off in front. Feeds it over to Crosby. Here they are on the attack. Denies him, he got all of it. And there's the whistle on the heels of that save and the puck going out of play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've still got zeros on the board. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff. He scores! The defensive centerman can't lose the draw like this. When he does, that creates the scoring chance. It's right in the net. The Penguins were preaching good start. Mission accomplished here, Ray. Teams always talk about getting the upper hand in a game as quickly as they can. Now you can play from in front. His fifth of the season. Scored by number six. And it's a quick John pass to Moore. By seven, Sends a pass over. Pittsburgh's got the puck. The Penguins take it across the line. Slides it across. Scores! That's surprising. So quickly they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. Pittsburgh's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. McCann's won the draw. Skates to the crease. Gobbles the puck up there with a the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Six minutes, 29 seconds. The setters will glide into the dot. The Penguins will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Kasha. Pokes it away in his own end. That pass doesn't go. Picked up along the boards by McCann. And that one's broken up. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Oh, what a stop! Goaltender comes up big in good position to make the save. And now it's grabbed by Tanev. Good check, frees the puck up. They fight for it along the boards. And it's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Turns him away! The Penguins gain possession along the wall. And here's a pass to Aston Reese. And that's just out of reach. Sent into the opposite side. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Looks to get the puck over to Pedersen. Pass stolen in the open ice. Can't catch up to the pass. 
duped up along the wall by Richie. Slides it over to Coyle. The Bruins take it along the wall. Shot stopped by the goaltender. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Gives it right back. Couldn't connect on that pass. Boston's looking to break out. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Bruins carried along the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Another stop by the goaltender. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Matheson's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Getting into the later stages of this period, Pittsburgh's got a 2-0 lead. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Nice pass. The Bruins work it around near the back end. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Bruins win the draw. That was an important faceoff, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Denies him in front. Slides the puck to Zucker. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Let's it fly. Just slide to the net. Uh, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Malkin's an outstanding offensive talent. He can score and he can pass. Teams have to focus on them. It doesn't seem to stop him, though, as he's in the top 10 in the league in scoring. The Penguins win it. Puck picked up by Jubilin. And he comes up with it. Hutton's lugging the puck. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. And that's picked off. Gains the zone from the right. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the wall. Gives them nothing in front. Wow. He scores! Oh, now they can go into this intermission, James. They gotta feel great about themselves. They tally so late in this period. Once this puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. The Penguins have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. Jankowski's one possession. Let's it fly from the point! And he says no! Well, a very one-sided first period finally comes to an end. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. has made his way back to center ice and we are ready to go for period number two. Period number two underway here. It's been an absolute mismatch through the first 20 minutes. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Bruins haven't done really anything that they can be satisfied with. They trail in the game. They haven't had many shots on net. They're not even really in the play. And that shot dies in traffic. Scrum along the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. From along the wall, a shot! Denies him on the play! Rask's really had a difficult time tonight. He's not looked comfortable. Even in warm-up, I thought he was a little bit shaky. He makes a good save there to keep his team somewhat in the game. 
And now he moves it quickly to Kasha. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. And now he tries to get it across to Kapanen. Makes the save! Latang's name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. The Penguins continue to lead big here in this second period. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. Takes it right in the chest, and we're going to get a whistle here. Zucker's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Penguins have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. The Bruins will play it in their own end and sends it just out of reach. And now he moves it to Kasha. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And he slides it quickly to DeBrusque. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Quick feed to Ruedel. And he makes the save. Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over to safety in the corner. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Here he is. Shot right in front. And that's blocked away. Puts it up front. Look Whoa. out. He scores. Now it's only a two-goal game. Oh, so it gets progressively better for them. But they need another one. they got to throw a quick back-to-back -back goal up here. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Boston's still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Maintains possession. And there's the save. Taken along the wall by Tanev. Coyle's got it in the defensive end. Works it across to Smith. Steps inside the line. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And that one's broken up. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Taken by Coyle. Can't keep a hold of it. Pushes it across to Aston Reese. Puck set across the blue line. Grabbed along the board by McCann. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Slides it diagonally to Coyle. Feeds it on over to Miller. The Bruins played along the wing. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. They've got numbers off target. On the redirect, up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Another sellout crowd here tonight. It's kind of a broken record when we say that these yeah, days. Yeah, it's starting to be the, the regular deal here. As the team plays well, the crowd follows. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Penguins are up 3-1. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Through pass ahead. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Boston's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Penguins have it now. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And now he angles it across to Pasternak. Picked off in the open ice. Couldn't find the intended target. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Matheson. Here's a short pass to Ruido. The Penguins work it through center. Unable to reach that one. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Tries to feed it over to Marchand. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. He clearly doesn't like that. And the middle frame almost done. And stirring the pot here. A little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. And we've got a fight. Just as one guy wants to fight, you don't have to. He says, no way.
Wow, and it's time for referee Gilles Levesque to step on in here, right? This is clearly over, James. I don't like when the guys start throwing them like that. Somebody looks like they're going to get hurt every time. But I don't know that the home guy did very well there. A little more room out there with a little four on four. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Pedersen. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Here he is in front. Denied by the glove, but the puck hops along. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. They've got the defense outnumbered. Knocked off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. Now a quick pass to Krejci. The Bruins look to break out before the period ends. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. And he takes a shot, comes up with the stop. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the point, oh, Ray, that opportunity right there. He's got to get this on the net. When it's on the net, there's a chance for a rebound. There's a chance for traffic to converge. Over the net, plays over. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck. They're losing the game. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Penguins have been getting solid offensive contributions leading 3-1. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, he'll feel that one. Handles the puck. And now it's over to Dumoulin. Breakaway! Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bergeron. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Rask's able to look up at the big board during this replay and see that he made an excellent glove stop. The Penguins lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Strong defensive effort. Centering pass, and that one's blocked. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Bruins take it along the wall. Takes a shot, comes up with a blocker save. Slides it quickly to Aston Reese. Here's a chance. Sends it across. Oh, he got paddled by Rask. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. His teammates love playing with him. Among the league leaders in assists, he makes everybody else on the ice a little more dangerous. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. They take possession as he locks him up. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes a count. Oh, goalie burps up this rebound here. 
it comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. The Penguins have been all over them tonight and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. Scored by number 53, Teddy Bruger. They go on the attack through center. Knocks the puck loose. And now it's grabbed by McCann. Grabs the puck in the slot. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Great read to break up the play. Takes it into the slot. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. They've got numbers. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Answer the call on that play. And that one's broken up. Sends it over to Kasha. Boston's got the puck along the wall. How did he stop that one? Tripped up on the play and the referees caught that one. And the play is whistled dead, here's the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. And their first chance to use the man advantage. They've got the best power play in the league, but they haven't been on the ice yet tonight. This is their first opportunity. They'd like to close the gap. Pittsburgh's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Effective use of the paddle on that one. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Oh, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Puck sent over to Smith. Takes the saucer pass. And he easily stops that one. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And still no luck at that one. You can even see their body language, James, there. Shoulders kind of shrugged. They think it's going out, and they'd get a chance to change. Penalty killers still on their heels. Moves it to Smith. Sends it down low. Passes right to the front, and they can't connect. Stopped by the goaltender. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Pittsburgh showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. He was locked in there. Pittsburgh's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Bruins going to work on offense. Here's the shot. Comes up with the stop. And he slides it quickly to Kasha. Gets it out of his own end. It's a straight up race for the puck. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Nothing doing on that. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Sends it over. Wrist shot from the slot. Stones him in front. High quality chance, high quality save. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. His reflexes on display tonight. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. And that's broken up. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Richie's got it against the boards. Smith's got the puck. Takes a whack but still hangs on. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Richie. No one home on that play. And that pass goes awry. The Bruins get a hold of it. Angles it over to Gensel. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a shot. The blocker saved by Rask. Montreal's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. 
Coughs it up on the play. And now he tries to get it across to Rust. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Penguins play it along the boards. Wide of the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Knocked away. Grabs the puck behind the net. And now he moves it to Balkin. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Wagner's going to play it against the half wall. Stays with it. Finds some space in the corner. With authority. Passes it to Zucker. Here's an odd man rush. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. There's another stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. And now he angles it across to McCann. And that's wide of the net. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And now it's over to McCann. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Receives the pass. Big play inside the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Can't connect. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. To the front. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. The Bruins have it against the wall. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And we've got a two-on-one. Stop by the goaltender. Quick feed to Crosby. And now he passes up to Gensel. Can't get a hold of that pass. And there's the whistle. Another opportunity to look up at the scoreboard again. Yeah, unfortunately for the one team, it's not very good. This game does not need any more whistles. Okay, we're going to show this because the guys in the truck are chirping in my ear about what a great glove save. Oh, actually it is. That is a great glove stop. The Penguins are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Gensel. All alone! Big time stop! Nose to nose, the goalie comes out better on this chance. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Bergeron. Moves with the puck in the corner. Officials say play on. That's only because of the effort to get down the ice in front of the defenseman. The final horn sounds, and it's time to soak it all in. And the winds continue to pile up right here. Yeah, you can see his confidence growing, James. That's his 50th career win. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.